Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Rome Duelist and today doing an ABC deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is an extremely consistent deck that can make some absolutely incredible inboards and I've even included some spicy tech cards in this build for you guys. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name description in a single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing two copies of A Assault Core. This card is a definite two of and the build is just absolutely amazing that all of your different ABC pieces actually share an amazing common effect. Then once per turn, you can either target a light machine monster that you control and equip this card to that target or unequip it and special summon it back to your side of the field, which is a really cool ability. And a monster equipped with this particular piece actually is unaffected by your opponent's monster effects, which is really cool when your copy of A Assault Core is equipped to one of your monsters. But this card is a great ability. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you get to add one other union monster from your graveyard to your hand, which is a really powerful effect. We then play three copies of B Buster Drake. B Buster Drake is a definite three of in the deck. This card is a really powerful effect. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you get to add a union monster from your deck to your hand, which is an amazing ability. And a monster equipped with this card is unaffected by your opponent's spell effects. We then play two copies of Sea Crush Wyvern. Sea Crush Wyvern is a definite two of in the build. You only really need two copies of this card, but it's really good because if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you get to special summon a union monster from your hand just to extend your plays, which is really nice. Also, as the ability a monster equipped with this card is unaffected by your opponent's trap effects, which is a really helpful ability on this card. We then play a single copy of Union Driver. Union Driver is a definite one of in the build just as a combo extender in the deck to get more of your pieces in play, which is why we're playing this card as a one of in the build. We then play two copies of Revolution Synchron. This card is so helpful in the deck because this card helps you get into your copy of Ancient Fairy Dragon extremely easily because we're playing multiple different field spells in this deck. So this card is really good as a two of in the build, especially since we're playing tuning in the deck to be able to easily get to this card. This card also helps you synchro climb, which is why we're playing this card as a two of in the deck. We then play two copies of Therion King Regulus. Therion King Regulus is a definite two of in the build because this card is basically a walking negate and plus it's super easy to put in your side of the field and it just helps you get more of your ABC pieces into the spell and trap card zone, which is just really, really nice. We then play a single copy of Destrudo. Destrudo is a definite one of in the deck because this card helps you step into a level 7 synchro play extremely easily and it's a really good card to be able to send to the graveyard off your copy of Dragon Ravine and it's an amazing card in the deck to be able to go in for Ancient Fairy Dragon. We then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is a definite three of in the deck basically just to stop your opponent from touching the deck and it's just such a powerful hand trap overall. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is an amazing one of the deck, basically just to stop your opponent from hand trapping you while you're going in for all of your plays. We then play a single copy of Terraforming. Terraforming is amazing in the deck, so play a lot of different field spells in this build. So this card basically just gets you to one of the field spells that you need, so you can go in for more plays. We then play a single copy of Set Rotation. Set Rotation is really good in the deck, because you always want to be able to get to your field spells, so this card is really powerful as a one of in the deck. We then play a single copy of Dragon Ravine. Dragon Ravine is really good to be able to use with your copy of Destrudo. It's just an overall fantastic card because it also gets your ABC pieces in cycle because you can discard them for this card's ability. So you can go for cards like ABC Dragon Buster. We then play two copies of Therion Disc Coliseum. This card is amazing as a two of them today because it helps you get your copy of your Therion King Regulus, which is absolutely amazing. And this card is a definite two on the build because it helps you get to that card so easily. We then play three copies of Union Hanger. Union Hanger is one of the most powerful field spells ever created, which is why we're playing this card. It's a definite three of in the build. This card is a Rota for the deck. It has the ability when this card is activated, you get to add a Light Machine Union Monster from your deck to your hand, which is already an amazing ability, but it also has the effect that once per turn, if a Light Machine Union Monster is normal or special summon to your field, except during the damage step, you can target one of those monsters and equip one appropriate Light Machine Union Monster with a different name from your deck 
to that monster. But the Union monster that you equip cannot be special summoned this turn, which is totally fine, because it's just gonna get us an additional piece in play so we can start going in for our copies of ABC Dragon Buster, which is amazing. We then play three copies of Tuning. Tuning is just an extremely powerful card in the deck, which is why I chose to play three copies of this card in the build, because it helps out so much in this deck, because it lets you add a copy of a Synchron Tuner from your deck to your hand, then send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, which you hope is gonna be a copy of, say, Destruda or one of your ABC pieces, which is just absolutely insane. This card is extremely powerful as a three of them in the deck, to be able to get to your copy of Revolution Synchron, and it's just so good in this build as a three of. We then play three copies of Unauthorized Reactivation. This card works so well in the deck because it lets you target a machine monster that you control and equip one appropriate machine union monster from your hand or deck to that monster, but the union monster you equip cannot be special summoned this turn, which is totally fine because this card basically just says equip one of your ABC pieces that you want to one of your ABC pieces so that you can start going in for ABC Dragon Buster, which is just really, really good. We then play three copies of Forbidden Droplets. Forbidden Droplets is amazing because we can use our ABC pieces from the graveyard to be able to make our copy of ABC Dragon Buster. So this card is really powerful in this deck to basically just turn your opponent's field off. Also, tapping their monster's attack points is just really good to help us OTK. But this card is a definite three of in the deck. We then play three copies of Pot of Prosperity. Pot of Prosperity is really good as a three of in the build, just to help you dig into the deck to get to the exact cards that you need, because you don't need everything in the extract, and this card is amazing to help you get to cards like Union Hanger, which is just really, really good. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're just going to be playing three, and that's going to be three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Impermanence is a definite three of in the deck, basically just to stop your opponent's monster effects while also locking down an entire column of spells and traps if you set this card to your side of the field and then activate it. This card is a definite three of in the build, and it's just such a powerful card. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start off with our three copies of ABC Dragon Buster, and it's easy to summon all three in this deck. This card is absolutely insane. It does require each a copy of A, B, and C to be able to make this card, just like the old school XYZ Dragon Cannon, which is such a cool old school card. This card is actually based on. It has a really cool ability. It must first be special summoned from your extra deck by banishing the above cards that you control or in your graveyard, and you do not have to use polymerization to make this card, making it super easy to be able to make this card, which is just really cool. This card also has the ability once per turn. During either player's turn, you can discard a card and then target one card on the field and banish it. And during your opponent's turn, you can tribute this card and then target three of your banished light machine type union monsters with different names and special summon them. And it's a quick effect, which is just an amazing ability about this card that it can quick effect bring back all of your ABC pieces. We then play a single copy of Baron de Fleur. This card is really Really easy to make and is an amazing card in the deck overall to help you just go in for a walking negate. We can play a single copy of Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. This card is again very easy to synchro climb into once you've used your copy of Ancient Fairy Dragon's ability. You can bring back your copy of Revolution Synchron to be able to make this card which is really amazing. We can play a single copy of Black Rose Dragon. Black Rose Dragon is really good in this deck as one of them because it is a board wipe which is really nice especially since we can just special summon from the graveyard which is really insane. We then play a single copy of Ancient Fairy Dragon. This card is so powerful in this deck as a one of because it has the ability once per or during your main phase, you can special summon a level four or lower monster from your hand, but you cannot conduct your battle phase to turn you activate this effect. And during your main phase, you can destroy as many cards in the field spell zone as possible, minimum one. And if you do, gain a thousand life points. Then you can add a field spell with a different name for, than from the destroy cards from your deck to your hand, which is an amazing card to be able to use during time and to get to the exact field spell that you need, which is just really, really good. Plus with Revolution Synchron, makes it ridiculously easy to be able to get into this card because we're basically playing five copies of Revolution Synchron in the deck because you play the three copies of Tuning and the two copies of Revolution Synchron. This is a card you're going to be going into all the time in this deck. 
We then play a single copy of Rising Your Dragon. Rising Your Dragon is really good as a one of in the deck because this card helps out so much to be able to basically foolish barrel a monster to the graveyard. And it's just absolutely crazy the amount of synchro plays that you can go into with this card. We then play a single copy of Underworld Goddess. Underworld Goddess is amazing as a one of in the deck just to basically have a kaiju in the extract that you can basically out any monster opponent puts on the field. Plus the deck swarms the field super easy with cards like ABC Dragon Buster, being able to just bring back three pieces that can be used as three three materials, which is just really insane. We then play a single copy of Access Code. Access Code's really good to be able to pop cards on the field, plus it's really easy to summon this card and make it absolutely massive. We play a single copy of Appaloosa. Appaloosa's great in the deck because it's easy to establish multiple monster negates with this card. One copy of Nightmare Unicorn to spin stuff. One copy of Platinum Gadget to extend your plays. One copy of SP Little Knight because this card is basically a double interruption. You can change this card out if you need to for a copy of Nightmare Phoenix. If you want to pop spells and traps is another option for you guys and then finally we play a single copy of ip mascarena so we can make the copy of sp little light or the copy of unicorn during the opponent's turn so that's gonna do it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed this deck is super fun to be able to play if you guys have never played abc before you should definitely give this deck a try it's one of the most consistent decks in the entire game and i absolutely love playing abc it's just really fun to be able to basically contact fuse our pieces into a copy of abc dragon buster which is such a cool fusion monster so that's gonna do it for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys